Today we're going to talk about calculating the weighted average remaining term in Excel. In this example we have a loan portfolio, we have a field for the loan ID, loan balance, and remaining term in months. And what we'd like to do is get a weighted average remaining term for this entire pool of loans. The first thing you can see right off the bat is all of these loans have different balances, which means they represent a different percentage of the pool of loans in total as a whole. So it wouldn't be fair to use a simple average because this loan here is a lot bigger than the loan up above it. To get a weighted average in Excel, the best route to go is to use the sum product function because the sum product function multiplies the values in two parallel arrays by each other and then sums the total of all of those individual products. So it would multiply this loan balance by its corresponding term, this loan balance by its corresponding term, and so on and so on, and then add up all of those products. And from there, we would simply divide it by the sum of our weight, which is the sum of the loan balance column. So we'll begin with sum product. Our first array is going to be our loan balance column. Our second array is going to be our remaining term column. We're going to divide that by the sum of our weight, which is our loan balance column. You can see that gives us a weighted average remaining term of almost 215 months. And if you want to double check this, what you can do is manually just multiply all of these values together add them up and divide them by the sum of our total loan balance. So now we'll divide this figure by this sum of our total loan pool which I have up here in this cell and that gives us the exact same figure. If you like what you saw today please subscribe to the Excel Cave. Thanks for watching.